With the Diwali festival now over, many people are probably thinking about the amount of weight they have gained. And this becomes especially important if you're a diabetic. To lose weight, people resort to different diet and fitness plans, one of them being yoga. So today, Doctors on Call looks into what is the benefit of yoga in diabetics and some other really simple health tips as you start your weight loss program. And this is especially important because India is the diabetes capital of the world. I'm Dr. Sameer Gupta. And I'm Dr. Sonia Lal Gupta. And welcome to Doctors on Call. Lifestyle management apart from medications are important for sugar control. It is estimated that one third of diabetics use alternative medicines. Yoga is one such form of alternative medicine that is now used all over the world. In a recent study published in the Journal of Preventive Medicine, a meta-analysis was done looking at the benefits of yoga in diabetes and the conclusion was impressive to say the least. In this study, they looked at comparisons of people who performed yoga regularly versus those who did not. Yoga was found to be successful in lowering HPA1C, fasting blood glucose and even controlling your sugar after a meal. People who performed yoga were also found to have a lower total cholesterol and lower triglycerides, lower LDL or bad cholesterol and higher HDL or good cholesterol. Practicing yoga even helped lower both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. People who practice yoga regularly had a lower body mass index or BMI as well as a lower waist to hip ratio. It basically means they lost weight. It also helped lower the stress hormone or cortisol. Interestingly, yoga helped control fasting blood glucose levels better in older people. These benefits were seen by doing an hour long session three days a week in just three months. This is another study reaffirming the benefits of yoga and diabetes. To learn more, we talked to Dr. Suren Sivaraja, who is the Diabetes Director at Penn State University in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Okay, so what should diabetics keep in mind when trying to lose weight? The most important thing is you do not want to skip meals. You want um, your weight loss to be very gradual, approximately one to two pounds per week. If you are on medications that can cause low blood sugars, you need to check your blood sugars more frequently and you may need your medications adjusted. What is the best diet plan for diabetes? The best diet plan is a diet plan that is well balanced, moderate in terms of fat intake, and if you can, try to reduce your carbohydrate intake. When you're, when you're embarking on this new dietary plan, if you need help, always seek assistance from a dietitian or nutritionist. Precautions to take when starting a fitness plan. With diabetes, as you increase your fitness level, you want this fitness plan to be very gradual and very moderate in intensity. As you uh, uh, increase your fitness plan, you may need to check your blood sugars more frequently, particularly if you're on medications that may cause hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. When you're exercising, you should have snacks available with you at all times as well, and consult your physician if you're having any problems with your blood sugar. Now the benefit of losing weight in diabetics goes way beyond just sugar control. It's very important for the overall health. Please remember to talk to your doctor before starting any diet or fitness plan. That's all for now. See you next week.